what's up and welcome back to the channel the name is ninja knight make sure you like share subscribe hit the notification bell up above for future uploads check out the links posted in the description down below and consider joining the channel today thank you to everyone who supports so here i have further images of transformers kingdom commander class rodimus prime and these are images that have come from amazon japan so i'm delighted to see clearer images of this commander class figure but i still do have a couple of nitpicks with this figure that i'm going to explain in this video primarily my issue is with the robot mode and even though i think that this is a very good representation of rodimus prime and i like the fact that they have him aged up there with the head sculpt and particularly in his face i think looks really nice I do have an issue particularly with the likes of the legs as you can see a good bit of the kibble goes into the back part of the boot which makes the boot look very large in my opinion this part of the hip here i think looks very awkward i certainly hope that that looks way better in hand and then i'm also not a huge fan then of the two holes that are in the chest now the reason why these two holes here are for the windshield to clip into and i think when you're looking at rodimus prime it is a design choice that has has to have some sort of sacrifices i think to get a fairly accurate looking robot mod i particularly think that this is in the kingdom line rather than the studio series line because it looks a little bit further away from what he looked like in the 1986 movie than the studio series voyager class hot rod in my opinion i like the big weapon that he's coming along with here this blaster looks excellent the sword certainly looks interesting it looks like that can plug out and possibly then could be put into someone's forearm or something like that i think that that looks quite interesting interesting to see if this is going to come with a name whether that's going to be the sword of primus for example or if they're going to give some sort of idea or background behind that sword because rodimus hasn't really carried one before in the media that we've seen moving on through the images we're also going to get a blast effect which i think is quite nice i think a number of individuals have reported that these blast effects seem to wither and melt away over time if you attribute it and attach it to the plastic so i would say be careful on that i wouldn't display it for too long but i think rodimus looks okay here i think that people that are posing this figure probably are individuals that don't really know an awful lot about how to pose it i don't think that that looks like the best pose for this figure whatsoever but i think when you see the bulk that the character has here within him it does look decent and he does look worthy of having the name prime in behind here we can see the windshield which is fairly high up which is a little bit disappointing because i would have liked to see that sit a lot lower and then have a backpack that is a lot more flush I think that the Studio Series Voyager class figure of Hot Rod is excellent and I would have hoped here at a bigger scale they might have been able to compact that in a little bit more. But then again, they probably will make a masterpiece figure of Rodimus Prime very, very soon, I think. Moving on to the interesting part, and here we have it, we have the rest of the trailer that is going to come with this Commander class. This was something that I was concerned about in the previous video that I did talking about this figure because i thought it was unusual that they were going to give retailers an image or images i should say of the figure and not include the trailer to give it the full sale value because a lot of people that are buying as retailers don't understand the differences between these characters and these figures and they will think well that one just looks exactly the same as what we've gotten beforehand which is why in my opinion that this is not a studio class figure and this is a kingdom figure instead so that the retailers then can differentiate between the voyager class studio series hot rod and the commander class rodimus prime i think that this looks excellent i actually think that this alternate mode looks phenomenal i think that this is definitely going to be a portrait that i'm going to make twice i'm going to want the figure in robot mode and i'm definitely going to want it in the alt mode i think this is looking fantastic just cast your mind back a couple of years ago there was hot rod figures that were released and people had to get third party add-on sets to get the trailer and to get the platform that we are going to see now in a moment i think this is brilliant to see this coming as an official release and i have to say full credit to the design team on this and full credit to everyone who was behind getting this guy going and particularly as accurate as he is it's a long time since we've seen a very good Rodimus Prime figure. We have had a couple of instances within different lines where we would have a version of Rodimus, but we haven't really gotten something like this, and particularly something that I think that is a very worthy update to the 1986 character. So I think that this looks phenomenal. I like the way that this plugs out, and then it can plug in then to the set. I think this is fantastic looking i like the flame deco that's on the side i think it looks pretty cool i think overall i think that this was a, a mode that i did like with rodimus prime and particularly i do think it's a fairly iconic one for a lot of transformers fans so i'm delighted that we're getting it i think some people will be really excited by this i think that this looks really nice i think the fact that this opens up and then you have this large scale cannon and it's quite a large scale cannon that he can grab a hold of looks absolutely wonderful 
when you think about what we've got with Earth Rise, Optimus Prime, and in my opinion, the weak trailer that we got with that, this definitely looks like it's made of thicker plastic. I certainly hope it is. And I certainly think that this Canon then is a big upgrade to what we got with Optimus Prime. And instead now I think we have a very solid Rodimus Prime figure. I think it's a very solid release and that this looks excellent. My concerns are definitely very much so washed away with these images i am 100 percent on board with this i think that this looks wonderful and i think that this is something then that a lot of collectors are going to buy into i personally think that this is going to be quite a sought after figure i will say that i very much so hope that the qc on this figure is good i hope that there are no joints or points of breakage that could happen easily on this figure this is something that i've noticed with hasbro figures over the last couple of months and certainly the last year particularly with this kingdom line there are some figures that are very prone to breaking so i'm just going to say that i very much so hope that they've done their work and that they have done a good qc check on this i'd be probably most concerned where the attachment the clips are going to be for rodimus prime's alternate truck mode i suppose plugging into what's affectionately known as the winnebago mode or into the trailer i would be concerned also about these pieces here that if they are very thin and if they're very fragile and you push them in is there a point of breakage that can happen there or again if these are not cast in yellow plastic if they are painted then they could have some sort of paint rub and then you'll have a paint issue there i hope that that's not the case i really do but these are concerns to just bring up right now before this figure is released what's also important about this is we do know hasbro have also had the mess surrounding haslab unicron they've yet to address that so i definitely hope that this is something that they're going to address because it would be fantastic for all fans to have our new studio series hot rods to have a prospective gavatron coming to have rodimus prime now and various other transformers from the 1996 movie i do want to take this opportunity to say that i think that hasbro if they try to get it right on the haslab unicron i would be very happy with this i think ultimately and overall that this looks good i like the way it's colored silver and then it's up here then the tips of the cannons are black as if it's after being used i think that looks quite nice i hope that stays the same then on the final products i think that this looks absolutely wonderful and it's a must-have for transformers fans i know that there's a lot of people out there that probably aren't the biggest fans of hot rod and certainly not rodimus prime after what happens within the movie i think it's a fantastic design it looks cool I've always been personally a fan of the character and I think that this is a very good update that I'll definitely support. I think this is something that Transformers fans definitely to get behind because we always say about new figures and new characters. I think if you get behind Rodimus Prime it might be a good one to see I think and for me it would look very well in the 1986 line. I do hope that they re-release Springer now with a clean alternate mode and clean robot mode as opposed to what they gave us in Siege and that would be a perfect 86 movie and you would have a perfect 86 line up then. So anyway, that's my video today. I'm looking forward to this Commander Class Rodimus Prime. It looks wonderful. It comes with nice accessories. comes with a fantastic trailer. Lovely alternate mode. And I think that this is going to be a must-have for a lot of collectors. This is as good and as close, I think, to a masterpiece we're going to get with this for a while. Possibly maybe next year they might do an MP Rodimus Prime if this sells well. This is going to be a test, I think, for the company to see if this character's popularity is there or not. Anyway, drop a comment below. What do you think below? Are you excited to see this figure? Are you excited to see this character? What do you think about the trailer being added? What do you think about the Commander Class price point that they're giving with Rodimus Prime? Is that something that you're interested in to get a very accurate Rodimus Prime? Or is it Commander Class price point something that you're a little bit hesitant about? We've had Jeff Fire, we've had Skylinks, and then we've had Rodimus Prime. So it's very clear to see that the Commander Class line is being used for these larger scaled figures, or what I should say, even the larger amount of plastic that can be used for these figures, which I'm perfectly okay with. I think that that's a good idea. This, I think a lot of people will assume and will say, well, it should be a later class at most that they feel that this isn't quite getting their bang for their book. Can completely understand that. A big cannon. For me, I don't think really justifies the price of a Commander class. I think Jeff Warrior was a very good justification for the price point because he's such a large figure and he comes with so much. Then you see Skylinks, a character that's popular to a select amount of people, I would say, in my opinion. And then now you have Rodimus Prime that seems to be coming with less and less. I certainly hope that this is in the line that they have got people hooked into and are going to then just do what they do normally, which is just shrink the amount of plastic that we're getting, and you're still paying that price. That's one of the things I will say, and I will agree with people on that one. So is this going to be maybe something that you're going to think about, the Commander Class line, if you're going to purchase it? Is your expectations of good QC, particularly at this price point, something that you would agree with me with? And also then, how many versions of this do you think that they're going to repaint this into? I think there's going to be a couple of versions that they'll repaint this into. And how many versions of this are you going to buy? 
and how many figures of this are you going to buy are you going to do the same as me have one displayed in alt mode and one in robot mode let me know in the comments below make sure you like the video share the video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell up above for future uploads check out the links posted in the description down below consider joining the channel today and i'll talk to you later till all are one good luck